many patterns at the population or community level emerge from processes, variability and interactions at the individual scale. Think for instance about behavior, selection and heterogeneity among individuals, but also death and birth processes, movement, disease transmission. Therefore, it is increasingly acknowledged that the basic entities in many ecological models should be individuals. Understanding the emergence of system level properties by the mechanisms at the individual level is thus the aim of individual based or agent based modeling. An individual based ecology has therefore one fundamental axiom, namely that phenomena occurring at high levels of observation in populations, communities, ecosystems emerge from the traits of individuals and characteristics of the environment that together determine how individuals interact with each other and their environment. An individual based ecology is therefore based on the assumption that the dynamics of an ecological system can be understood by first modeling the characteristics of the system's environment, second modeling the traits of the system's individuals that affect how the individuals interact with each other and with their environment, and third simulating these interactions together in an individual based model. Agent or individual based models are the simulations based on the global consequences of local interactions of members of a population. These individuals might represent plants and animals and ecosystems, vehicles and traffic, people in crowds or autonomous characteristics in animations and games. These models typically consist of an environment or framework in which the interactions occur and some number of individuals defined in terms of their behaviors and their characteristic parameters. In an individual based model, the characteristics of each individual are tracked through time and often they have space and movement explicitly modeled. Individual based models are thus a population and community modeling approach that allows for a high degree of complexity of individuals and of interactions among individuals. Individual based models simulate populations or systems of populations as being composed of discrete individual organisms. Each individual has a set of state variables or attributes and behaviors. State variables can include spatial location, physiological traits, state and behavioral traits. These attributes vary among the individuals and can change through time. Behaviors can include growth, reproduction, habitat selection and movement. Unlike traditional differential equation population models, which are always described in terms of imposed top-down population parameters, individual-based models are bottom-up models, in which population-level behaviors emerge from the interactions among the individuals with each other and their abiotic environment. An advantage of individual-based models over traditional models is therefore that they can incorporate any number of individual-level mechanisms. They are as used whenever one or more of the following aspects, which are usually hard to, or impossible to represent in population-level differential equation models, are considered. Variation among individuals and of individuals during their life cycle, local interactions among individuals, and adaptive behavior, which includes physiology and energy budgets. IBMs are close to the daily life of biologists, which remember are not mathematicians. Many individual traits that are crucial for IBMs can be formulated and tested using controlled experiments on real organisms. For example, many IBMs use models of how an individual growth rate varies with energy intake and metabolism. Such models can often be developed and parameterized in the laboratory with relative ease. Other behaviors, however, are complex responses to a wide range of stimuli and therefore are not readily modeled using only empirical experiments. Individual based models are nevertheless worthwhile to develop theory and generate new insights into these specific mechanisms driving system complexity. Importantly, when coupled to human behavior and economic principles, they allow us to tackle socio-economic applications like flood risk mitigation, hunting and harvesting problematics. So, interactions are the central in individual-based models. 
we may recognize first direct interactions like communication, predation, facilitation, which usually occur at local scales and are always defined at the individual level. Indirect interactions, often through feedbacks between individuals and the environment, are mediated through emerging processes, for instance, food consumption, pheromone production, and this explicitly represent interference and exploitation competition. They can be both local and globally acting. Important here is that these interactions are determined within spatial ranges. We call this the interaction field. This spatial grain is affected by behaviors of others, for instance, like home range, perceptual range. It can be simplified by assuming individual interactions towards the entire population, competition and population growth, for instance, allowing simplifications of multiple individual-based mechanisms. For instance, population regulation can be a probabilistic response according to population size or carrying capacity, rather than being modeled by direct competitive interactions that feed back to fitness. Spatial dynamics can also be explicitly modeled, for instance, by adding different steps of the movement process or the specific movement rules and their links with the costs. Overall, stochasticity is key to individual-based models and allows us to embrace uncertainty in the ecological outcomes of the underlying individual actions. Stochastic coding can be used to represent variability in input and driving variables. It reproduces observed behaviors through individual decision-making. For instance, when individuals have a certain probability of exhibiting a certain behavior, decision-making to do something at a certain time step, given the local conditions. They may also represent complex and lower level processes, so processes at the physiological level that are unknown and variable, like variation in fertility, mortality, movement distance, and so on. It just allows us to approximate the mechanistic events that are directly responsible for these changes, which is realistic simplification, but unknown to the modeler. When individual-based models model a daily life, it is important to think about the timing of events. Actions can be defined in discrete times, for instance, sequences of events at specific ages, or in a continuous time where actions can take place any time based on some probabilistic function. Events can be organized as a hierarchy of actions, so being conditional to each other. For instance, death may occur only after birth, or certain movement steps can only be made when individuals have decided to leave a certain place or to recognize certain features of the environment. Interestingly, because individual-based models are individual-based, they allow a good and natural approximation of evolutionary dynamics, as individual variation in traits, when heritable from parents to offspring and directly connected to some fitness proxy, will be subject to selection. When some variability is externally generated by mutation rates, this will generate further fuel for selection. And when traits values reach a steady state, an ESS, an evolutionary stable strategy, is reached. This approach of adaptive dynamics is different from optimality modeling, in which scenarios are searched that maximize some fitness proxy. In IBM's, evolution occurs live but within a computer and can be monitored in time. Interestingly, kin selection is an emergent property of individual-based models. Traits are the central to individual-based models. But in most individual-based models, there are one or several kinds of individual traits from which the most important system's behavior emerge. We need to represent these traits in a realistic way to ensure that individual decisions or realistic under a wide range of conditions. So be aware of the potential restriction by the choice and definition of the traits. And in the end, of course, we always have to test sensitivity to factors that are unknown or not modeled. A nice example is, for instance, seen in flocking behavior of migrating white stalks. While mechanistic movement rules like speed and gliding time are important to simulate individual movement, Group dynamics can only be simulated by adding leader and follower dynamics. 
In this class is a hands-on course. You will first receive a guided tour to programming in Python, in which you learn to develop coding algorithms, concepts, and a good coding practice. From that point onwards, you are expected to develop your own project in groups and with feedback of the tutors. Projects may range from disease to vegetation dynamics and may include adaptive processes with a focus on pattern formation. I expect you to report your model and results using the ODD protocol. This is a standard protocol for describing individual and agent-based models. Documentation will be made available. Now, let's start coding.